Many people think that learning a new instrument is an incredibly tough task, but by taking the right steps to learning your new instrument, it can be a much simpler task to accomplish. One of the first things I learned to play on my cello was a D major scale, which would sound like this. <laughs> two upper strings, the D string and the A string, and these are the two most commonly used strings. It teaches a lot of intonation and the correct finger placement, which we will be going over in this video. One of the first things you need to do is to tune your cello by taking a standard tuner and going and making sure that the notes match up right on the screen. Once that is done, you're ready to start playing the actual scale. You start on the D string, which is the second string right here, and usually you start off plucking, but it's easier to hear with a bow. So you start on the D, you go, you take your first finger, play an E, and then you skip your second finger, you put your third finger down right here to play an F sharp, and then you play a G with your fourth finger. Right there. And then another open string with no fingers. First finger. Extended third again. And finally, fourth finger for your G, your, for your next D. And then you would come back down the scale in the same order. First, you're going to start playing the notes individually by going and then you're slowly going to speed it up a little and go in a little bit faster increments by going and a little bit faster as and then once you're comfortable with the two with the single notes you're going to slur two notes which is basically playing two notes on the same bow instead of the one we were doing and it'll sound like this Make sure that they're smooth bows and you try not to stop it or else it'll sound a little bit creaky like a <laughs> which is not what you want to sound look out for and make sure you're checking the notes to make sure your fingers are in the right spot by checking your tuners after you are comfortable with two notes you can go up to four which is what you usually do in orchestras and in your private lessons, which is what we sound like here. Now that you have this basic skill learned, you can play many different pieces as most beginning pieces are written in D major.